Hello, my developed PHP friends. Warm Racer 08 here. I'm back with another jQuery tutorial. Um, in this in this lesson or series of lessons, uh, I'm gonna show you how to build this image rotator, image slideshow, um, and I'm gonna split this into three. I think uh, the first one is gonna be a, a more simple uh, effect, if you will. We're just gonna fade the images in, fade them out. Uh, with these buttons here that are just a graphic yeah and then I think in the second one we'll show you this custom page white type of effect um, and then maybe a more advanced one give us like a random tiling deal I don't know what I'm gonna do yet let me see what you guys think you know comments or whatever but uh, in this one we're going to do a simple fade in and fade out. So let's get into Dreamweaver here and take a look at the code. So this is this is all the HTML. There's not much here. We've got uh, two divs. Um, we've got an ID of container here. Then it's going to house all these elements. Uh, and then we have another div with an ID of photo wrapper that's going to house our images. and also the graphics I've used here for uh, the buttons um, and that's this this commented out div here you can just ignore that um, that's going to be used for that uh, the page wipe effect um, so you can just delete the code or get rid of it I left it in there so I have to type it later um, I'm going to make this whole thing available for download um, I don't know if I'll do each one individual or just do them all together but uh, you'll get the style sheet will be in here uh, each one of the HTML pages uh, just because I'm not going to go over the, the style sheet uh, in depth I just want to run through it real quick um, your container height and width needs to be the same size as your pictures um, of course this transition container can be uh, ignored because we're not using it um, the photo wrapper needs to be the same size as the container uh, you can position your next and previous buttons however you like and then we, I had I applied a class of image to all the images and well, we have use an absolute positioning with a zero and zero for top and left with a display of none and then we'll st that what that'll do is stack them on top of each other and uh, they won't display and then we'll have uh, jQuery uh, fade them in and out for us so let's jump into the, the jQuery here and uh, Let's talk about the code so I've set up three global variables that are going to be available to all of our functions uh, within our document.ready function so th in this document.ready jQuery is going to listen for the DOM and when the documents loaded then we can fire off some of our functions um, this whole section of code here I've got it commented but uh, I've used this in another tutorial and I'm not going to explain it here all this does is center uh, this thing in the browser window so you probably won't want that for whatever you're going to use this for but uh, for here I just wanted to have it centered so you can just ignore that delete it get rid of it whatever you want to do but uh, so we've got uh, three functions down here in the document dot ready uh, we've got a function here that handles our previous button a function here that handles our next button and then another function down here that handles uh, moving to the next image and fading it in and then also unlocking our buttons because we lock them up up here in these other two functions so that we don't get multiple animations going on but I'm getting a little ahead of myself let's start back here at the beginning with our global variables so I've created an array here and so this will work good for you guys uh, if you've got 50 images or, or 10 that you want to put in here uh, you can just add them right here the ID of the image to the array and uh, you'll be able to uh, go right through them with the slideshow with no problems so it's a variable that I've named photo array and it's a new array and then we've just added our images to it got another variable that this is an integer and it's going to I've called it photo index and it's going to be equal to zero and this is going to keep track of at what picture we're at what what index we're at in the array so uh, 
the flow index initially is going to be equal to zero so that means it's going to be equal to image one arrays go from zero and count forward so we'll have zero one two three and four not one two three four and five so and then we have a variable that I've named uh, button lock that is a boolean and it's going to be equal to false initially so in in our previous button I've said here we, we need to attach a click handler and then we're going to perform some action so what we're going to do then is we're going to say jQuery the element uh, with the ID of previous button is going to listen for the click and so when that element of previous button is clicked we're going to use a callback function here to run this code so and the first thing we're going to do is find out what state the button lock is in and if it's equal to true which we said if button lock it's going to return a value of true or false if it's true we're going to return because there's an animation already happening and we don't want another one to happen so that's how we're going to lock out our button and then so if it's false and we're able to animate something we're going to uh, set the button lock to true so that the buttons are no longer active while the transition is happening and so then uh, we're going to fade this photo out and what we're doing here is saying jQuery our photo array a variable which is our array up here the photo index okay so at any given time this is going to be a number from 0 to 4 so the photo array at our index whatever it is fade out uh, slow and then we're going to use a callback function here and we're going to use a counter called not really a, a counter but it is a counter because it's just an integer variable and we're going to de-increment it by one so let's for example the first time through here uh, zero is going to be the first image up so our photo array at zero we're going to fade that image out slow and then we're going to de-increment the index by one which is going to be negative one so then we set up a condition here that says if the photo index this counter and also the position in the array uh, where the image is if it's less than zero which in this case is going to be then the photo index is going to have a new value and it's going to be equal to the the photo arrays length which is going to be five minus one which is four so that's how you get it to go backwards from zero being the f the very first image to four which is the very last image which is actually the fifth image so i know it takes a little bit getting used to because uh, you're counting from zero up and zero is actually a place which is one so anyway um, then we're going to call this function move to image and we're going to pass it the value of photo index and so down here then here's move to image it accepts a parameter of ID which is going to be uh, the index value so let's just keep going with this example and so uh, it's less than one so the photo index is going to be equal to the ray length which is five minus one which is four so photo index is four so we've passed move to image a value of four so the photo at index of four we want to fade it in slowly and use the callback function to unlock our buttons so that we can use the next or previous buttons uh, now because the transition is over and we want them to be active and that's pretty much it I mean the same thing is going on here in the next button uh, it's just a little bit different logic it's it's a little bit backward instead of uh, uh, de-incrementing this counter we're going to increment it by one and so then if the photo index is greater than the length minus one so let's say uh, the photo index comes in here at four and then the photo index is going to be uh, greater than the photo array well actually it wouldn't be at four but let's say uh, our photo at index of four um, and we fade it out so then we increment it one time so then it's going to be five so then if the photo index 
which is 5, is greater than the array length, which is 5 minus 1, which is 4, which that would be true, then we're going to start it over at 0. So, and then we're going to call the function. So, both the next and the, the previous buttons fade the photos out, but then they call this move to image function we have going on down here, which fades the, new, the next image in line in. So, I hope this guy was helpful, guys. Um, I don't know if I did a good job explaining the code, but um, we're going to build on this code and add to it. Uh, pretty much things will stay the same. We'll just add to it as we go uh, to get these other effects that I showed you earlier. And uh, I'll uh, put the source download in the video description. Uh, hope you guys enjoy.